Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is another Blender Geometry Notes tutorial. Peter recently watched my old tutorial from 2019, where I used animation nodes to randomize the position and the rotation of these pill bottles a little bit, just to make it more look more realistic. And he was wondering if we could use geometry nodes now to do the same thing. So in this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I will take a current Blender version, open that old Blend file that I found on my backup hard drive, and then together, we're just gonna see where that takes us and if we can use geometry nodes now to recreate what we did with animation nodes back in 2019. Let's go. What do we have here? Okay, down here I have a shader node tree. Cool. Up here we have the camera view. This is my scene. Oh yeah, I put those cubes in here for some extra shadows to make it look a little bit more realistic. Like that thing was actually standing in a store and there's something blocking the light. So I think I'm just gonna take those and hide them. Are those working? Yeah. Okay, so down here you can see what I'm pressing. So this is that, let's go over here and switch to material view, just look at what we have. Okay, so we're missing some materials. I think I'm just gonna hide that guy too, cause I don't care, I only care about the bottles for now. Um, down here, this is the animation nodes node tree. I don't have animation nodes installed in this uh, version of Blender. So you can see this is sort of broken here and all of these nodes are red. So we don't need any of that. What do we have over here? Um, we have the bottles collection. There is a bottle that must be the original. And then there's the animation notes container, which just can hide that and then all the bottles are gone. Okay. So those must be the cubes that were floating around before. And then this must be my original bottle. Where, how? Okay, so these are three objects, the cap, the cap, the label, and then the bottle itself. And the bottle is the parent for those objects. Cool, now this does, this has a location on it. So I'm just gonna hit backspace here to reset the location. And we also have a rotation on it. So let's reset that too. Okay, so this is my original bottle. Now, before I do anything else, I think I'm going to try and figure out if I can still find that original label. Give me a second. Okay, I also found that PNG that is missing here. Um, and I'm just gonna plug that in here. So this is that one. Right, cool. What is that shader note tree here? And there's a hue saturation and an RGB curve on here. So that's that. Oh, and that is a transparent PNG. So I'm mixing it with a white plasticky material. Okay, that would be the shader. Cool, cool. Now let me do this and this, and let's see how we can set this all up. I'm just gonna split my viewport here and turn this into a geometry nodes node tree down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now let's uh, go to the bottle. Now let's create a new object and put a geometry node uh, node tree onto that. Shift A cube. Um, where is that cube now? Hold on a second. The cube. Let's move that to the scene collection. So it's out here and let's call that, I'm just gonna call it GN for geometry nodes. And new node tree. I'm not gonna use the cube, so we don't need this. I will um, create some sort of grid. Am I gonna use a mesh line, mesh primitive? Could use a mesh line, or I think I'm gonna use a grid. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm interested in vertices so that I can use geometry nodes to instance the bottle onto those vertices. Okay, grid. Let's see what that looks like. That's the grid. Okay, let's make it as wide as this. Maybe look at it from top view and a little deeper. 
and then we want vertices you know before I'm, I'm just gonna start instancing stuff so I can see something instance on points what do I want to instance I want the bottle but the bottle is three objects so I'm gonna select those um, move them to a new collection call it bottle okay so we, I don't actually I don't think I need this this is just there's some background stuff in the in this collection okay I'm gonna keep that except for that I wanted to hide that and what do we have here we have the bottle collection and now on this geometry nodes thing here I can go shift a input collection the bottle that I just created and use that geometry to instance ah and now we can see this grid okay so from top view we have to make this like that and maybe like that and maybe how do I do this maybe I need a second grid I'm just gonna do it like this bring that in okay and then I will um, I will do another grid and a geometry join node joining those two together and then I have another grid but it's in the same location now so I need a transform node for this one and I will transform that one over like that and maybe over like that now let's get more bottles in here okay that was be it would be this one and then we're gonna do six for that one is that correct what do we have no I want six for that one and seven for that one I think I'm not sure what do I want oh I also have to make this mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so let's see if we can sort of just eyeball this so that we can fill out this shelf a little now our original bottle is still here that's this one we don't need to see this um, in viewport or render okay so this gives us this grid of bottles now we want to transform the whole thing we want to move it down a little okay then we instance our bottles onto that grid cool so we already have that done nice now for the rotation they're all facing the wrong way now and we have this rotation input here on the instance uh, on points node so if I take the C I can rotate them all 90 degrees to make them face forward okay and now we want to randomize this rotation a little bit that's the entire thing here is to make to make it look less perfect because if stuff is too perfect then it looks a CG and we don't want that we want to randomize the position of each bottle a little bit because no human could place all of these bottles perfectly and also the rotation so we want to randomize this rotation a little bit I think this is going to be quite easy we need some sort of a random value um, what do we have float integer vector I'm gonna take a vector put that in here cool yep it works so each point each instance gets its own random vector but of course we don't want this we want something only on the c-axis and I'm sure this is going to be radians yep okay so we we have to turn them 90 degrees which would be pi divided by 2 and if I copy that and paste it in here now they're all facing forwards again and if I take this one and turn it down a little and this one and turn it up a little then we get some random rotation so if I look at it straight on you can see they're all not all facing perfectly forward maybe we want to have them face almost perfectly forward but not quite 
So just a little bit of randomization. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think this looks awesome. Cool. Um, how about I split this and turn this into a rendered view? How about that? Switch off overlays. What's happening here? Let me just find that HDR. Okay, I, I found the same HDR and I replaced it and it looks different, which is okay. But so that's, that's that. We have that rendering over here. I don't know what settings I had here. Color management. Oh, the order here is all, <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you open an old file. Also, I don't have the workspaces up here, like the geometry nodes workspace, but I don't care about this right now. We could, however, switch on viewport denoising. I think that would be nice. Okay, so if we look at it from the front, cycles rendering, this looks nice. Okay, now how do we randomize the position? Because now this is all way too perfect, right? Camera view. Oh, camera view, that's an animation, isn't it? Yep, that's one, just, just a camera move. Okay. Uh, position, um, randomize the position. Okay, so here we're instancing and we can use the rotation, which is cool. But this gives us that grid of vertices that we're using for the instances. We have to randomize the position of the vertices of this grid. Cool. Uh, we do that by using a set position node. Okay, so we're setting the position of the vertices of this grid. And where do we set the position to? Well, this is just using the position. So it's the same thing as if I plug position in here. And now I can use position and do something to it. What do I want to do to it? I want to do a vector math, add something. What do I want to add? A random vector again, vector. Zero, X and Y, so no C and that, which makes it go completely crazy, okay. So if I do zero, then it's the same thing. And then if I go a little bit on the X, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah perfect, this is, this is gonna be it. A little bit to the left, maybe minus 0.05. And same thing on the Y and then 0 0.05. Is this going to be too much? We don't want them overlapping like this here. This is obviously not possible. <laughs> so maybe this is a bit too much. So let's do 0.4 and 0.4 here. Okay. Now we still get some overlapping here, but we can just play with the seed value until we have a random distribution. That's not overlapping. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Okay, so now it looks like a human actually put those bottles onto that shelf. Random positions, random rotations. I think we're good. Awesome. That's an easy note tree. Now, of course we have a second shelf down here. How about we try and get something down here? What's the easiest way to do that? Let me just clean this up a little bit. So here we have that here. This is our grid. Oh, this is going to be easy too. We just take this grid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take this grid, transform it and join it back on here. So now we have two sets of bottles and the second set we simply move down on the C axis so that they're standing on this shelf to do, do like maybe like that. Cool. Now let's check out something. Is this now randomizing? Yeah, of course it's randomizing the entire grid that we're plugging in here. So we get completely different positions down here and different rotations. Cool. That's it. This would be the note tree. 
Um, so let me just recap real quick. Uh, first of all, I put the bottle, because it's three objects, into its own collection. So I can use that collection in here for the instances, right? So I'm instancing the whole bottle with the cap and the label. So that's the first thing. The, the second thing is I created a new object, which I'm not even using its geometry. I'm just using that for this whole instancing thing. And uh, in order to uh, place the bottles, I'm creating, I'm using the grid um, primitive that is in geometry nodes. I'm using two of those so that I can have them stacked like that. Some transform nodes and some join nodes to create that whole geometry for, I'm only interested in the vertices, right? And then I'm instancing the bottle onto those vertices. So all of this is just for creating that grid now, for even for the two uh, shelves. And then this up here is just to randomize the position of that grid. Messing with the grid here. This is the collection and this is for the random rotation. So this is very, very easy. This is the, the final load tree if you want to take a screenshot of that. And this would be that. So to finally answer Peter's question, is it possible to use geometry nodes now to do the same thing that I used in emission nodes back in 2019, which is uh, randomize the position and the rotation of these pill bottles a little bit? The answer is clearly yes. It's not very difficult either. You just have to think a little bit differently. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials on Blender and geometry nodes, Make sure to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more coming. Also, maybe check out the older videos here on the channel. I've recently remade a lot of uh, videos from the past using the old attributes way of uh, geometry nodes. Now with the new fields, geometry nodes. I think if you want to learn geometry nodes, uh, I think those tutorials can really help you because I sometimes go very deep into the details on why it's working the way it's working. So check those out. I hope you learned something new today. You can find the finished blend file over at patreon.com slash chrisp. Thank you to all my patrons already supporting my channel and thank you for watching. Chris P out.